I don't know what's going on. There's something in my eye in real life. How did this happen? How did I get sand in my eye in real life? This is not cool, man. Tsunami. Mommy. Ah, the Offington White Horse. This thing's incredible. The first prehistoric display of horsepower. One. Welcome, my friends. So glad you could join me. My name is Wonka. Today, we're going to be playing Forza Horizon 4. If you guys are still enjoying, you'll want to see the never-ending binge of this game because I'm having a great time with it. You like that idea? You want to let me know you're having a good time, too? All you got to do, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. And without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy. And I think you will. So welcome to the uh, special little Hot Wheels edition episode that we're going to be doing today on Forza Horizon 4. Um, this, if you don't know, is the Twin Mill. And I don't even know cars very well. All right. Like I know makes and models and stuff like that, but I don't know like the fancy Hellcat Jeep Trail Cat. You know, I don't know their fancy names and stuff like that until I find them in games like this. But I knew about the Twin Mill. I'm pretty sure I had one of these. I'm pretty sure I probably still have one of these in a basement somewhere. Hot Wheels edition, obviously, little car model, not, you know. It's a little bit banged up because um, I had to go through that fence right there to do that whole intro. But um, I'm also doing PETA a favor by freeing the sheep. So uh, this thing is stupid fast, as you would expect, having two supercharged engines sitting on the front. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really like to put the traction on the pavement. It just kind of likes to put it up in smoke. You know, it's, it's the Cheech and Chong of automobiles. That's that's the engine's names, by the way, Cheech and Chong. But today, we have a very important mission. We have to rescue the Twin Mills brother. All right, the Twin Mills brother has been taken, all right, by the, by the evil Team Rocket. And we are going to rescue the, this, his, his brethren. By doing so, we get to keep him. So kind of, we're like kind of not really much. Do you ever, do you ever notice that about Pokemon? Not that this has anything to do with Pokemon, but I mentioned Team Rocket. You know, it's like we're rescuing the Pokemon from Team Rocket, but then we get to keep the Pokemon because, you know, we're not just going to set it free. Okay, maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's not what they did in Pokemon. I, I could be wrong. I only really played the, the, like, Game Boy games and stuff and, like, Anything that I could take from Team Rocket, you know what was keeping that. Alright, gotta catch them all. Find a Mewtwo or whatever. The headquarters is just this way. We're gonna head on over there. I actually, um, just recently saw the biggest convoy I've seen in this game. It must have been at its peak. Probably like 8 to 10 cars. Oh, jeez. Including me. And um, I just kind of stumbled across it. I was like, holy crap, there's a lot of people here. So I just kind of hopped into the back of it. And um, I wish I got some screenshots of it or something, but I was just kind of, I was just busy being odd and amazed and I wasn't recording or anything. So that sucks. You're just going to have to take my word for it. But it was a pretty, it, was a, it wasn't the, the most interesting convoy, to be honest. It was just big. It was a big, it was a big convoy. And they all rolled around like doing like speed limit. Nah, maybe a little faster, but they just kind of rolled, you know, just cruised like this, kind of. Enjoyed the scenery. Ah, nothing wrong with it. I enjoyed it. It's just not the most interesting convoy to, you know, record. So, I, I didn't really, you didn't really miss much, is what I'm trying to say. But it was pretty, it was still a cool experience. I've never experienced that in Forza, and you wouldn't really be able to experience that too much in the old Forza. I mean, you could if you had, if you organized it, got a big group together, or joined some streamers convoy or something. All right, we're here. It's the top secret headquarters. We gotta free my brother, and you know, gain a new badass vehicle. Not that this one's not badass enough. I mean, everywhere it goes, it drifts. <clears throat> had to really slow down because it gets skinny here. So, um, I guess it's this one up here. Although I swear I checked it out and it wasn't it, but you know, I guess we're going all the way up here. Nice long drive, you know, <laughs> no big deal. It's only 11 kilometers. 
you know, just half throttle everywhere you go because then it's like, you know, two engines divided by half is one engine. So, you know, now you got one, one engine's worth of power and it's normal-ish if you can half throttle. This isn't it either. I don't understand. Where is it? I just don't know how to Where is it? Well, this is an opportunity to potentially buy a new vehicle. I would like a Bronco. Bronco would be sweet. However, most of these vehicles are pretty shite. So that's not a good idea. We're not buying a vehicle. I also just achieved um, a level in one of the racing groups before I started recording and got a power wagon. So meet the new meet the new power wagon. We're also not using that because it's it's also pretty shite. We could go upgrade it and use it in the next race, but we're gonna have to use the G wagon to start out. All right, expert, and you can watch me whip, and then no name, I just whip. You can see me whip. That's it. And then um, we'll also get a wheel spin, and hopefully then we will unlock the secrets to the headquarters to find the brother of the twin mill. I don't know why I said it like that. But what's wrong with me? Help. Send help, please. This car was only meant for winter, not fall. We're taking her out early, boys. I also forgot to put the uh, off-road suspension on this thing. So we're still sitting super low, I think. And super stiff. And not shifting gears like an idiot. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I forgot this thing was like this. So uh, since the uh, G-Wagon slammed was not the uh, best idea, we're going to actually go uh, do something with this thing. The Ram Dodge Ram Power Wagon. 2500 heavy duty. Oh, she's a big girl. She's a heifer. Now, she's uh, definitely slow. I can tell you that just off of uh, first first appearances here. And uh, first experiences here. Well, we can get this girl moving. We get this girl on some good suspension. Not that she's not already. We just, all I'm saying is we don't slam it like the other vehicle. Which we're not going to talk about anymore. We're not going to mention the name. And as a true American... In an American vehicle, we're going to be taking the American side of the road all the way to the new house. Because as a true American here in the land of the English, I'm going to be driving on the right side of the road because it's the right side of the road. You hear me, partner? And on top of that, I'm going to be staking my claim up here at this here piece of land like a true American. Ram power wagon. You know what? Let's take this thing off road. See what she can do. Yeehaw. We're coming in for the TKO on Sassy Pappy over here. Oh, Sassy Papaya. Sorry. Randy Orton TKO, motherfucker. What you doing back there, Sassy Papaya? What you driving there, Sassy Papaya? Look like a uh, BMW there, sir. Is that there a BMW? This road right here, I think we're going to call this the drift house right here because this road is actually perfect for what this guy is currently doing and what I'm gonna be doing in my new truck yeehaw let's get it America if you fancy a break from the speed and noise I found this gorgeous little mountain retreat couple of acres of land view of the river <laughs> you probably prefer speed and noise yeah hey it's up to you Actually, what I prefer is that it's only 200,000, which is like the cheapest house in this game, nice. besides free. We all need to get away sometimes, don't we? See, I wish I was actually getting an ice cream van in that episode. Still upset about it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. We are now a sheep herder with a sheep horn with a Dodge Ram power wagon. Sounds about sounds about right to me. What we need to do though is claim our Aston Martin before before Hansy over here. They made nineteen of these. Just nineteen, that's it. At last time one came up for auction, it went for nearly ten million pounds. We're rich. Not a bad find for a couple of chums and a walk in the woods, eh? We're rich. We can finally afford the castle if we sell that thing. Just kidding, it's not worth anything in the auction because you can get it for free. <laughs> and everyone has one. 19 made. Ha! <laughs> Get out of here with that garbage. Alright, but what we need to do is worry about this, alright? 
Ooh, we got a body kit preset. Got to take a look at it. All right, not great. Not terrible. Not great. Puts a good amount of horsepower in it, though. I can tell you that much. But I kind of like to customize it myself. Kind of make it my own in some ways. To off-roadify it or to just keep it, you know, kind of stock, kind of sleeper. That's the question. And, like, supercharge it. Because we haven't put a supercharger on anything yet. So we could just supercharge the stock engine. It sounds like a decent idea. You know what? I'm going to go with that. So we're already all-wheel drive. We added the supercharger. Let's see if we can get a little bit more power into it. All right, so we've done a little bit of everything, but it's not maxed out. Um, a little bit of transmission and driveline work in there. We got some new brakes. Kept the old uh, stock shocks and springs. We did uh, do a bit of weight reduction, but not max weight reduction. Everything in here is kind of sport, except for the odd thing like the supercharger. You know, we go... We go all out on those. So I might just try and do a couple more things in the power here. Just to get that last little bit of points. Alright, there we go. Now we're at a nice even 700 top of B class. It's costing me $43,500 to do all this. But we should have a decently beast ram this time. And uh, should be able to win some races here. It's not as badass as that body preset. Maybe we should have done that. But, um, I think this thing's pretty sweet as is. Power wagon. There's one more thing that we have to do, though. All right, now we're done. Oh, you're wondering why I chose this color? You're wondering, huh? Why I chose this color. Not anymore, you're not. Not anymore. America. See, here in America, we go right through our front gate. All right, let's actually see if we can win a race this time. Feels um, a lot less sluggish, so that's a good start. Still not, you know, you know, a car. It's still a truck. It feels faster than the Raptor, and it is in the same class, so that's good news. However, I don't think I've done any work to any of my Raptors, whereas I did a bunch of work to this. No, I don't think I want to do that. I'm busy. Please fuck off. That's how we do it in America. We go this way too in America. All right, this is how we do our roundabouts here in America. Oh shit! Okay, not not like that. That was that was that was just had a little bit too much American freedom this morning. You know, a little, a little whiskey just hit me a little too hard there, going around that corner. You know, if you know what I mean. Whiskey bear just got to me. Now I know what you're saying, this is supposed to be a Hot Wheels episode, what the hell are you doing? What's more Hot Wheels than America, alright? America is Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels is America. These are the same dang colors, red, white, and blue, red, white, and blue. America. American Kung Fu. Wow! Y'all wanna mess with America, i tell you one thing. Cause America's coming for you, here we go boss! We got all the grip in the world, I didn't touch the tires at all. Ooh, sorry buddy. These are stock power ram. Although I lost my power badges. It's not good. Those those gave me horsepower. Try and keep her as slow as I can here, boys. But you guys need to speed her up a little bit. Alright, we're losing the race. Oh. Going off-road feels way better in this thing. Holy. Feels like I can actually accelerate when I'm off-road, first of all. Not that the tires weren't gripping, it's just the suspension's so stiff that the tires are just bouncing. Like I'm bouncing off the walls right now. I'm all hopped up like the Easter Bunny. Too much Halloween candy, you know what I mean? Bouncing off the walls out here. I mean, come on, what's in this freaking thing stock? I got a big old supercharger on it. A big old supercharger on it. And I just can't keep up. Like, okay, maybe I'm not racing the best that I could. For sure. I'll take that. But I mean, damn. How are they so fast? Excuse me, sir. Please don't ram into the front of me. And it will be greatly appreciated. Don't make me jump over you. I'm known to do it. I'm known to and prone. And... Ready to bone. Alright, let's go. Okay, maybe too much information, I know. But it wasn't what you thought it was, alright? Just 
YouTube friendly and stuff. Yeah, fuck you bitches. America number one. Not China number one, America number one. There was a little PUBG joke there for you. Actually, where did that even originate from? That's what I want to know. Happened a lot in PUBG, I'll tell you that much. That was the that was the player unknown's meme of the century. Come on now, we got this skaters. Oh boy, skater, we're going in the wall again. Big big surprise on that turn, am I right, Skeeter? What does this guy behind me have in his vehicle? I should have swapped the damn engine for a Ford EcoBoost. I'm just kidding. Sorry, Dodge. Dodge lovers are like, hey, fuck you. We ain't putting no Ford engine in our car. Uh, it was a joke, all right? Jesus, keep it in your pants. Man, that's a big jump for a big girl like this. You can feel the damn earth shake when she lands. I felt it from all the way over here across the ocean. Oh, no, 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 no. We did it, boys. We got a winner. People are going to think I'm the most ignorant American just driving this truck through the British streets with this flag on it. Oh, man. Flag paint job and everything. I'm just America. And I'm not even American. Good way to get some extra comments, though, you know? Someone flames me because... I mean, either because I'm not American and doing this, or because they just think I'm American and doing this. <laughs> now, what's going through this guy's head? Oh, nice car. You too, man. It's a badass car. I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, I'll see you later, dude. <laughs> I think we're both doing the same thing, which is pretty funny. Maybe we could have raced together or something in the co-op mode, but I'm just... I'm too much of a loner and loser. Alright, we got this. We just gotta do this, like, this time and one more other time. And then potentially we can finally actually get to the freaking championship that we've been trying to get to this whole damn time. You know what I mean? Alright, good to know. Holy jump! Oh my god, and we're coming up on another one. Into the beach. I don't know what's going on, there's something in my eye in real life. How did this happen? How did I get sand in my eye in real life? This is not cool, man. Come on, Ram. Show them that you're stock Dodge engine with a beast of a race supercharger on it is a decent fast engine makes for a decently fast car at least we gotta win this championship for all the marketing people out there to make their job easier we're selling some dodges today I'll tell you what here comes the big old jump again and we're moving on to the next jump it's kind of a two-parter like the last Harry Potter movie it's not quite over after the first bit. Alright, I had a lot of lost ground to make up after I got sand in my eye on the first lap. So, unfortunately, we weren't able to gain a place there. I think I'm slowing down a little too much on these corners. I need to trust in the all-wheel drive system on a Dodge. I just need to be able to do it. Just place all of my trust in it. And that supercharger. Oh, no, no, we gotta slow down. We're going way too wide, boys. No, the sand. It's so weird. I feel like that's not how sand would feel at all in real life. Look at how deep it looks like their vehicles are in the sand, too. It's insane. I'm gonna jump you, bro. Watch out. Oh, <laughs> almost landed directly on top of him. No. How dare you beat me. America number two! So that guy is two points behind us. We cannot let this Chevy beat us in the next race. It's not fair. He has a better engine. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I saw that thing in an online thing that we were doing in a previous episode, I feel like. Oh, and I wanted it ever since. Oh my god. Jumping into the golf course on our final race of the championship. But um, 
This is just the beginning. Even though it's not really the beginning, we're probably pretty far through right now. Um, but it's, it's just the beginning of what's to come. I could have jumped that guy if I had lined that up better. How dare you, Ford? Actually, no, it's better you than that Chevy. Let's, let's just box that Chevy out, bro. What do you say? You can beat me. Oh my god, that's a dead sheep. That is a dead frickin' sheep. I... I don't know what to say. I... I was just doing my job. I was just trying to race. It's like... It's like that pitcher that you guys let throw baseball at that pigeon, you know? And he got off, right? So I should... I should... I should be alright, right? All right, guys? No! Oh, those things are heavy. I forgot how much one of those weighs. Because somebody, uh... Could somebody in the comment section give us how much one of those hay bales weighs? Let us know, because I should not have run into one of those. And, and scroll down. That's why. Just kidding, my comment section is a desolate wasteland. Ain't that right, guys? Come on, guys. But you know what? I don't care, because I get first place, all right? I get, I get the win, all right? That's all that matters to me, is that I win. All I do is win. Win, win, no matter what. <laughs> Got a new informant, all right? But we have to do a few things in order for him to trust us. Tell us exactly how to get his brother back from Team Rocket. Hot Wheels and the Twin Mill will be forever grateful to us. So we're going to need to go and get a 1973 Ford Capri RS 3100. Apparently, I've always promised myself this car. I have a feeling it doesn't mean me. All right, let's see. What did we need? It was the 1973 Ford. It was a Capri, right? Probably that one. 1973 Ford Capri RS 3100. That is the car. They want $40,000 for it. You know what? I will just buy that outright, sir. Congratulations. You've got yourself 40 grand. What was the other Capri? The F.E. None. All right. Good to know. Fun times. Oh, no. I got to claim my car, damn it. Oh, please. I need to claim my right. Please. Just leave me alone. Okay. I said a route. Okay. Just leave me alone. Why you force me to do things? Why? I don't want to be forced. I feel so... Consent is very key. Okay, Forza? Don't force. No force. Please, no force. Okay. I have my Ford. Now what would you like me to do, mister? I've bought the car you requested me to buy. What more do you need? Alright, take some time to appreciate the Ford Capri by taking it out for a 10 mile drive. Great. Just wonderful. Just what I wanted to do with my- Ooh, nice coastal drive. I like it. Let's do that. I've never actually driven or seen one of these before, ever. Like, not that I can recall. But I like it. It's interesting. Oh god, watch the bushes. Oh god, turn coming up. We're good. We're good. Oh, look at all the blimps in the sky. Or the hot air balloons. Those aren't... Those are definitely not <clears throat> blimps. <clears throat> you know, I could have done this 10 mile drive a lot faster if I modified this thing. But this thing's classic, alright? There was only one available in the auction house. And it's mine. You hear me? All mine. For 40 grand, too. Like, that was a steal. I was really lucky, too, because... You know, if we didn't find this car, we might not have been given the intel. And it's very important intel. You know, I'm glad it's the fall time that I decided to take this 10 mile drive in a Ford Capri. It's much better than if it, you know, was not colorful and raining or slick and icy. What better season is there to take a Capri for a 10 mile drive? You tell me! I challenge you to come up with a better solution. Better season, not solution. Mike situation. Has he gone to jail yet? No, no, not yet. He's getting married soon. Or he got married yesterday or something. Or two days or something. I think he got married. Why do I know so much about his life? Because I just wanted to know if he was going to go to jail or not for his crimes against the tax system. So we're a little over halfway now. Please don't kill another sheep. I don't know if I could uh, call two in an, a an accident that close together. You know what I mean? So, um, I think we're coming up on a six-mile drive so far. Is there, like, a way? I wonder if there's an odometer if I go in here. What does that say? 34. Is that kilometers, though? This seems like a nice, quiet neighborhood. Might as well squeal some tire in it. 
Excuse me, pardon me, watch your house. Who put this house here? Who was it? I want them reported. All right, I know the car is not that fast, but we should be coming up on like 10 mile. We had 10 mile yet? Huh? Oh my God, I can't see. Tsunami. Mommy, let's get some sideways action. Yeah. I need to drive five more kilometers, roughly. Probably should be just going onto like a highway or something instead of like being an idiot and taking windy roads, but now we're nowhere near a highway, so congratulations. I'm an idiot. You all were right the whole time. Now I'm gonna angry peel off into the British city's side. That was my best attempt to hit that sign. <laughs> Come on, how much more? I appreciate it, okay? I, it's very much appreciated. Oh, I'm done. Now what? Earn a total of nine stars from speeds. Speed zones. I just got a hot tip. The brother's getting auctioned off in the black market. We gotta get to a computer real real quick. The informant trusts me now. He, he didn't, he said, fuck it. Fuck the last thing. It's too fucking much. He said, fuck a bunch. And I was like, man, that's not, that's not YouTube friendly, man. We can't be fucking saying that. And, but fuck, here we are, man. And we gotta, <laughs> what am I doing? We gotta get to a computer, man. All right, we gotta buy him before someone else does. I think we did it. I think it's, I think he's ours. We should, I didn't want to have to give in to paying those scum. But he should be ours now. I have top secret intel that he's at this location. Oh, we've saved him. I believe it's 50th anniversary, as you can tell by the uh, side of the vehicle here in the top of the twin mill. So we are getting the Hot Wheels vehicles in Forza Horizon 4 for absolutely free. Well, you got to do a few things like I just did there. Go buy this guy from the seasonal shop. Make sure you uh, grind yourself some points. You know, don't waste your time in American pickup trucks because not everything can be won by doing a race. Okay? Okay, glad we're, glad we're sorted on that. But this hot rod, if you don't know, is called the Bone Shaker. And it's got some golden, uh, some golden accents on it now, which I think is pretty sweet. Wait, what, what can you do to the front? You can add a splitter? That's just stupid. Okay, that's kind of insane. The roll cage is on the outside. That's pretty badass. Oh, my goodness. Pretty freaking awesome. I'm super tempted to do that. But at the same time, I'm super tempted to just not touch Bone Shaker. It's not like, I feel like that's illegal. So let's, uh, let's shake some bones, shall we? It sounds... Let's go right here. I don't know, it sounds like something else. I can't quite put my finger on, but it just doesn't sound like Bone Shaker. I don't know about it. Let's see how he drives though. Fresh back from Team Rocket. Look at the wideness of this thing. It's like a frickin' Hummer. Okay, Bone Shaker. Okay, Bone Shaker. We see you there. You don't need to show off now there, bud. Okay, maybe you do. Go ahead. Go ahead. Show off a little bit. I mean, shit. Show them how easy it is to be Bone Shaker's driver. Holy. That's probably not true at all. It's probably... <laughs> it's probably a pretty very... Pretty difficult vehicle to drive. Oh my god, she actually reaches up for the gear shifter. Can we just... Just... Oh, we're gonna downshift here for in a second. Look at her. She's reaching up. Oh, that's the little things. You know what I mean? The little things. Does she do that when we're in here? Oh my god. It's amazing. It's perfect. I'm not touching it ever. Look at the <laughs> gear shifter just twitching all over the place. You just give it a little yank up there, you know? A little yanky panky on YouTube. Never hurt nobody. You know what I mean? But there you have it. That's what I uh, wanted to do. Now we're officially... Uh, Heroes driving what uh, what most cops would probably be considered a criminal car Because <laughs> apparently they, they've never seen criminal actual criminals cars They're like hey, let's let's go after these guys with nice cars because that's what 
that's what these criminals be driving. I mean, like, you know, if you're a successful criminal, but I'm talking like, they think they're going to be catching petty crim. Come on, petty criminals do shit in like nonchalant vehicles, you know? You know what I mean? hit that like button because if you guys hit the like button for me lots of good things happen okay and we can grow and do giveaways and like subscribe and all that good stuff okay take a easy <laughs>